This is part two of a two video series. In the first video, we went through one of these FMAs back here that had a queen from Greg Burns in it. Looked really good. And we also went through that seven frame nuke box that also looked pretty good. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. In this video, we go through another colony, the one clear on the end down there. Oh, one got me in the back of my head. Uh, I also show you what a high mite load looks like in a wash. And then we went through this thing right here and did an unconventional split. That got a little bit wild. I believe this is the one that swarmed out so bad last year. I can't remember exactly what I did to kind of help mitigate that. I know early in the year it was like in a three frame nuke and did all kinds of stuff with it. But uh, you can tell I haven't been through in a while all this burr coming and everything in here. There's a few high beetles, not many so far. So this is a double deep configuration here. All of these are double deeps except for the, light, the first one I went through with Greg's queen in it. So let's take some of this burr come and put it in a bucket over here. This year I tried to stay out of them a little more than usual. I think it's paid off and done good for me. All right, let's just find a frame here. Oh, wow. They're bringing in nectar from somewhere. Wow, look at that. Golly. We have some drone comb up here. She hasn't really laid in there yet, but it's, it's there. And I see drones walking around, so goodness, it's, it is just simply game on with the bees here in southeast Alabama. And if we can get hold them over just another few days, keep them from swarming until we get those cells. Food frame, honey. Got some drone comb through here. Looks like this box is going to be a lot of food. One of the problems with not going in very often is they glue everything together. It's good, but then it makes it hard for the beekeeper to inspect. Ugh. Golly. There we go. Okay, yeah. Nice brood right there. This is a beautiful frame right here. This is just a textbook frame for a beehive. We've got honey around the edges, a ring of pollen around here like this, and then brood down here. And same thing on this side, honey. Yeah, that looks like that's mostly just open comb she's gonna lay in. Wonderful bees doing a great job. A little nervous about this colony though because I do believe they swarmed out like crazy last year. I can't remember how I fixed it. Don't remember if I put some better genetics in here or if one of the swarms just stayed back and built up into this monster. I do know it's a new queen in here though from last year sometime for sure. These Apomays are pretty, pretty dang nice hives. The bees are being reasonably calm today too, which is really nice. Look at all that brood. Yeah, I gotta get these girls some space if I wanna hold off for a little bit longer before I split because they are about to just absolutely be an incredible colony of honeybees. I did treat them really good last year with, you know, make check for mites and stuff, but man, they're just, wow. I'm gonna look for the queen and we'll go ahead and get a mite check in this colony. Random mite check. I've got my sample for the mites. I don't even think I really need to go in the bottom box. You can, I mean, I can look down here and see there's a huge population of bees in this colony. Definitely don't need to feed these girls. They have plenty of food, lots of brood, lots of bees. Really set up nicely for a split, which we're gonna perform as soon as possible, as soon as I can get some queens or queen cells. All right, let me shake for mites and see if we have any mites in this colony. Wow, zero mites, y'all. I'm excited about that, big time. I was running through checking all the colonies, uh, doing some mite washes, and everything was looking pretty good until I came across this colony right here. And the colony looks great when you open it up and look at the bees. But let me show you what we got going on here. 
we got 30 mites in there approximately. So you're gonna have to figure out something to do to treat that colony right there. I'm probably gonna hit him with oxalic acid vapor right now today to knock off the phoretic mites. And then I have some Formic Pro coming. And when it gets here, I'll probably make that a trial for the Formic Pro. Well, it's not hard to tell that this is a strong colony. So strong as a matter of fact that they've snapped into swarm mode a little bit here. Look at all those bees. How do I know they've snapped into swarm mode? Let me show you here. We have some queen cells right here. I've already, there were four right here. I've already destroyed two of them. There's one that's capped and one that's not right there. So I have decided I'm gonna do a split. What I'd like to do is see if I can find the queen and take her away so that she thinks she's swarmed. Go ahead and let these bees just hang out over here, those uh, swarm cells. I'm gonna carefully go through and see if I can find the queen and put her over in that nuke box right over there along with a fair number of bees, maybe just a little bit of brood. Lots of bees in here. These bees did wash six mites, but I'm not too concerned about that. That's within threshold. And they are quite fired up. They're not real happy with me. I'm trying to find the queen. Once again, one bee amongst 40 or 50,000 or even 30 or 40,000 is a lot. There's a queen cell right there that's gotten damaged. These bees are gonna be in the trees here very soon if I don't do something. It's amazing how strong the bees are right here in the backyard. Yeah, that's mostly a food frame right there. I don't see the queen, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this food frame over in the nuke. Here's a frame they had drawn out pretty wonky right here for whatever reason. Looking for the queen, see some big old drones in there. There's another queen cell somehow I managed to damage right there. No good. I don't know if you could tell, but he's got big old drones just walking around everywhere. We'll put it right here. Man, I have such a hard time finding her sometimes. I guess those queen cells must have been, these bees are not as gentle as I'd like to see them be. So this year I might be working to replace whatever queen is in here anyway. But for now, we're just gonna see what we can do. Another queen cell got damaged. They're not really actively attacking me, trying to sting me, but they're just real agitated. They're flying around like crazy. Just a shrill roar of bees all around me. They're just not very happy. Let's set this box over here. Look at all those bees, wow. These bees really are primed to swarm because really they've packed this colony out. Really no place else for the queen to lay. So it's time, lots of drones. There's another queen cell right there. Be real careful with that. Let's set it over here so I know that's a, got a queen cell on it. Another indicator is I'm not really seeing a lot of eggs in here. So they're probably Giving her a workout, getting her ready to swarm. If she hasn't swarmed already, I guess that's a possibility too. Yeah, we do have some eggs over here. So hold that thought. I'm pulling these from the other box over here. They seem calmer. I think she must be in this other box that was on top over here. Well, I basically went completely away from the plan, kind of. <laughs> I could not find the queen. I went through that entire colony at least twice, couldn't find her. So what I ended up doing was uh, basically shaking all the bees either into this nuke box or on the ground in front of the nuke box. Theoretically, the queen and all the nurse bees will go into this box. I've got three frames of foundation in there, a couple of frames of food and a couple of frames of brood. It's packed out with bees as you can see because those nurse bees don't know how to get back to the donor colony. Over here you see this colony also has a pretty good population of bees. These are the foragers coming back. And uh, I did put the queen cells in here so they should emerge. There's also a brood in this colony. We should also be emerging for plenty of nurse bees. In a sense, we're imitating a, a swarm here. This is like an artificial swarm over here, a really big artificial swarm. I'm gonna let these bees get settled and I'm gonna move this over to a hive stand I have just down the road a little ways. 
and see what happens. I don't necessarily recommend you doing it this way, but I've done this kind of thing in the past and it works well. Basically what you're doing is, is, is uh, kind of forcing the bees to swarm on your schedule instead of theirs. And uh, I anticipate this thing will be drawn out very quickly. Uh, assuming the queen is in there, which she should be, um, she'll start laying it up hopefully, and we'll need to maybe do another split here really soon. As far as these bees go with the queen cells in here, uh, hopefully those queen cells will emerge and uh, we'll have a nice new queen in here that'll, and it won't even skip a beat. As that brood emerges, we'll have plenty of nurse bees in here to take over that job and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. I did put some foundation, four frames of foundation. I'll definitely keep you all posted on how this turns out. It's just another adventure I thought I'd try today. Uh, something unique and different. I'm not even sure what you call this thing. I guess you could call it a uh, artificial swarm <laughs> into this nuke box, kind of like a tearing off split, shook swarm, whatever you want to call it, but we'll see what happens. That ended up being much more of an adventure than I anticipated, but overall I'm real excited about these colonies back here. Uh, this was the one we put the split into and man is packed out with bees. They should draw that foundation out and uh, fill it up really quickly. Uh, the queen has to be in there, I'm sure she is, and so they'll need to be split again soon here or more space added. Got to treat the mites in this one. A, a count of 29 is way too many in that wash. Probably going to try Formic Pro on them when it comes in. And otherwise doing well. I imagine one of these queen cells that's left in this donor colony right here will emerge and hopefully we'll get a nice colony out of it. Maybe be able to split them again here before too long. And uh, overall really excited about these bees. Mite counts were well within threshold on all the colonies except for that one. Uh, we have four that were zero, uh, one that was six, and one that was two. And so excited about how they're doing. And uh, they're super strong. And we just got to get them through another week or two before we can make some more splits. The honey's going to start rolling in soon. So it is game on here with bee season here in southeast Alabama. Uh, Y'all drop me some comments down below what you think. I know it's a little strange. This is definitely a how I do and not a how to video, as Mike Berry says. Y'all take care. Be safe. And we'll catch you on the next one.